This is Mind Jack for the Xbox 360. Not to be confused with the movie Free Jack, the 1992 science fiction epic starring Emilio Estevez, Rene Rousseau, Anthony Hopkins, and Mick Jagger with Scorpions in the soundtrack. What's remarkable, though, is the similarities between both respective forms of media in their genres, because neither of them are good, but they're both strangely enjoyable, at least for short periods of time. Cover our tracks. Great. Got a pickaxe? We won't need one. I got the key for that. Right here. In Free Jack, the plot gimmick is that people from the future were going back into the past right before someone died and stealing their bodies so they could be used for immortality. The plot in this game is immediately forgettable, but the gimmick is in the gameplay, where you are hacking all of these people's minds and you can jump from body to body within gunfights and take control of other people and machines. How do you put a number rating on something like this? It's priceless. It's like you're just test driving these people's bodies and using them as rental cars. So you drive them poorly, intentionally. I mean, who cares if they get killed off? It only matters if your main characters get killed off. So each level that you encounter has these bystanders standing there, watching massive gunfights right in front of them without moving. Just watching standing, waiting for you to just mind jack into them, get them killed, and move on. <laughs> if only the gameplay was as good as the gimmick, seriously. <laughs> this is also on PlayStation 3, and it was so much fun to walk bystanders into gunfights. <laughs> but wait, there's more. You can also create armies of followers by mind jacking enemies after you've killed them, but not killed them hard enough to actually kill them. You just want to shoot them enough to uh, leave them susceptible to being mind jacked, but they're strangely not wounded in any way. They're just your mind-jacked slave doing your dirty work. Until the end of the level, in which case they all fall to the ground. Later in the game, you get to create an army of monkeys. Seriously. So that's the good stuff. It's campy, enjoyable science fiction fun. For a short time, because the gameplay is really sloppy. The gimmick is very cool, but it's not used in a masterful way to really enhance the game. It just kind of gets in the way of a game, but at least it brings it above forgettable. Because in some battles, you can take control of some guy working a crane and turn him into a sniper, take out all the enemies from behind, and then uh, go back to your main characters. But, but the trick here, or I should say the risk behind doing things like that, is that if both of your main characters get killed off, you then lose the battle. And when you leave your main characters, you then leave the worst, stupidest AI ever in control of them. So it's like tossing the keys to your $300,000 Ferrari to a four-year-old. You can't relax for a second when you know that your main character is being piloted by the computer because they'll just shoot into walls. I mean, look at this. Guys, the, the enemies behind the bookcases, just shooting the books won't help. Maybe they don't like to read. The enemy AI is no better, the combat, which comes level by level, is predictable. And if you're a fan of traditional shooters or games like the Splinter Cell series, or James Bond Bloodstone, or other sneak and duck and cover kind of games, you probably won't really like this one, because it's just not smooth or refined in any way. And uh, the gimmicks don't end with what I've described. You can also hack into other people's games or have them hack into your games. So while I continued playing through the game after recording this footage, I left one of my games open to be hacked. And somebody did hack into my game and took control of one of the other characters and started shooting at me. And it was kind of neat until I shot them in the head and they went away. But then at the end of that level, a rather large shooting level where I brought down a big mech and everything, and it was near the end of the game, it says, host session failed and did not save my progress. Way to go. Mind, Mind Jack has, has many, many problems. But at least the gimmick is catchy and does make it rental worthy if you're a fan of cheesy science fiction. Because it may be the one game you pick up with your buddies and go, this really isn't very good, yet I can't put it down. And why, why was the stewardess standing around with a machine gun? Mind Jack. We've seen this trick before in Ghost in the Shell, but uh, honestly... That was, that was at a much higher, higher level than Mind Jack. This is a lot more like Free Jack, and if you've seen Free Jack, you know exactly what I mean. That movie's awful, but how much do you want to watch it right now? 
Now that may be a bit optimistic. If this is still catchy in 20 years, then we'll know we've got a Free Jack contender. Until then, until it reaches Free Jack status, we've just got a Fighting Force 2 contender. Woohoo, that wasn't a comment.